this too, uh, like a while ago. I'm such a horror. I have don't even ask me like how long I've had this beauty blender. I've only had two in my life, and this is the second one. The other one is gone, long gone, because it was like really bad. Anyway, so I was debating whether to do the intro now or later. You know how like they're like. But I was like, let's just do both intros and see what happens. So, um, what's up guys? This is Leslie Fernandez, or as you guys know me from Instagram and my PSN, I am Leslie. Thank you for coming back to my video and watching it. I'm sorry that this isn't um, the cover with me and my sister, but that will be coming out. And I just want the best. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get to it. So the first thing that I do, when I um, do my makeup, let me just tell you right now that my makeup is shit. Like, let me cut, let me take that out. <clears throat> let me tell you right now that my makeup is no bueno. It's no, I'm trying to find. Okay, I have a big old space right here, man. Like, so we're gonna go in. This is um, sorry. Let me let me introduce this more. I'm probably going to do a vo voiceover, but I'm still going to talk because I don't know what I what to do with my life. Anyway, so I have the Fit Me Maybelline. I don't know. I'm, I can't see anything over there, so whatever. And I am number 312. It's called Golden Dwar because, you know, Mexican as fudge. And, um, yep, this is what I use. So let's get to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I like to pour it on my booty blender. Ooh, okay. Was that too much? I remember when I was a child, I always said that I would never wear makeup. All right, guys. So um, I obviously put foundation on my booty blender. And we're just gonna be blending that into the face and I like to pat and also like smear just because I just want to get the best I can from my booty blender and I just go all over the face and I first do like a light layer of like patting and like smearing um, then I just like go over it like a couple more times just to make sure that uh, the foundation is getting in there you know and it's covering up my sagginess and my you know my bags and everything else I do a lot um, get it in my hair which is like common for me so people will see me and they'll be like oh honey you have foundation in your hair if I'm doing something wrong if I'm not putting my foundation right I am so sorry I know that I have followers who do their makeup way better than me but it is what it is, right, guys? So, um, I'm still here working with my booty blender. And, um, as you can see, I'm dragging the booty blender down to my neck to make sure that it blends correctly and it looks like my natural skin. And you don't want to look like an orange face and your neck look like another color. You want to make sure you're the same color. You want to make sure you're the same mocha color or milk color or whatever. But, yeah. I'm I used okay so I barely got that brush you saw that it was from wet and wild anyway so I have to fit me um, Maybelline fit me new, Maybelline New York fit me matte proless at shade 3 2 230 natural buff um, whatever powder whatever press um, I'm a broke hoe not really, like I have two jobs. But I don't have concealer. I know you guys are gonna hate me. I don't, I wish I did, but I don't. So, I just see how bad her face already, okay guys? Oh my God. And I'm testing out this brush for the first time, so I guess it's kind of like a review, because I've never really used this brush, but let's see what happens. Not, not very hard. 
not bad at all. Honestly, pretty decent. So we're just gonna... You know, gotta let people know that you're a, a woman of God. So once we're done with that, I like to do my eyebrows. And I just went out, uh, I got this, cut, this stuff two days ago. Um, I went to Walmart because I was like, I need some stuff. Of course, I wasn't like, didn't get the things that I really need, like, yeah, I don't know, concealer or, um, <laughs> I've had this brow thing for, like, the longest time. My mom gave it to me a while ago. I don't remember, like, but it's called City Color Bold Brow. And, um, yeah. They have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an Instagram, so but I'm just guessing they're, they're pretty good. This thing is so old that the cap fell off. Whatever, who cares. Um, so we're just going to brush our eyebrows because my eyebrows like to be stupid and they like to get curly. And they just like, don't like to be with me. Okay. So now that we... So now I start dipping into the to the brow mix and I go in with a darker shade and I try to go from my bridge of the brow to the end to the tail of my eyebrow and then I take the lighter shade and I try to blend it into the darker area and um, like I only use the light for the for the beginnings because you know everyone does that and um, yeah I try to shape my brows the best I could. Um, if you hate them, you know, you can hate them. I kind of hate them. She doesn't look good. Like, you know what? She does look good. She looks real good, okay? You know what? She made it work. Okay, you go, girl. I know I'm making, like, nasty faces, but I'm, I think I did pretty decent. So I'm just doing the last brow, and I remember this brow was just so complicated. And I did my best, but like I said, use a darker color for the bridge of the brow to the tail of your brow and the lighter color to the beginning. And try not to make them boxy. Okay, now let's get to the fun stuff. So I have this beautiful pla pa palette. Palette from Monop. Milani is called the Most Above Mats, and it looks like this. I use this palette all the time, just because I'm, like I said, I, my my makeup is limited. I I swear that I love makeup and that I would do like I do I have like a lot, but I honestly don't really have that much makeup. Oh, if you guys want to see my setup? Um, yeah, and it comes in these colors. Tutorial? But I tried. I'm trying here, honestly. Like, I just paid money for this editing app, and I'm still learning. So, um, hopefully, my skills will improve. But I'm just using every single brush. Not really. I only use, like, three brushes. I'm just lying to myself now. And I, I made it work, girl. I made it. She looks good. And um, we're still going. So um, I obviously kind of tried to do a cut crease, but um, not very good at it. And nor do I do my makeup all the time because I'm always working. So um, I did the best that I could. And there was fallout from the second palette that I showed you. It was from LA Girls or something like that. And um, it did go under my eye, but I didn't notice it towards the end. And now I'm moving on to the eyeliner. I tried to get as close as possible so that you guys could see how I do it. Um, I do it really effortlessly. Um, I've been doing it since I was 11, I want to say. Um, but it wasn't good at that time. But I learned to perfect it. So if you guys ever want um, a specific how-to eyeliner... Uh, like how to do your eyeliner then leave a comment to let me know because I can help y'all with some tips and tricks and how I did it and honestly it just takes practice and now I moved on to my eyelashes um, 
the glue that I showed you guys was a duo and I thought it didn't work but for some reason that it started working like miracles and I was like okay well I see you um, so now I moved on to my lipstick and it's a liquid lip by Milani and um, it's called Amour and I really love it it feels like I'm not really wearing anything and it's really matte like it doesn't smudge or anything so you need to be careful when you're putting it on um, to make sure you put it on right because it's gonna stay that way then I moved on to my highlight and it is from wet and wild and I packed it on as you can see and um, put my hair down it's a finished look guys so um, obviously I am really feeling myself just because I went to the downstairs like living room and I can see there's a mess up right there but just don't judge me <laughs> I was working with what I have. Um, I think this look is a 